Hi, I'm Lauren. Today, I'm going to show you how to build and run a Linux CMake project from your Windows machine just by using Visual Studio. Believe it or not, your Windows machine can run Windows and Linux at the same time by installing an application called Windows Subsystem for Linux, or WSL as it is often referred to. Visual Studio has a beginner-friendly way to automatically set up a CMake project to build and run on WSL. In simpler terms, Visual Studio will set up a Linux environment on our Windows machine, and we can then run and build a CMake project on that Linux environment without ever leaving Visual Studio. Let's go get started. Let's get started setting up WSL. We could go through manual steps to install WSL, but luckily VS has a great way to walk us through the installation. First, I need to make sure the version of Visual Studio is at least 17.8 and has Linux support installed. To check this, I'm going to open the Visual Studio installer and select Modify for the version of Visual Studio I'd like to build my CMake project on. This will bring up a page that lets us install various features for Visual Studio. The workload I need is Linux and embedded development with C++, which I already have installed. This workload will allow me to target my project to Linux. I'm going to open the version of Visual Studio that I just installed the Linux workload on and click Create a New Project. I'm creating a new project because I don't have an existing one that I want to run on Linux. If you have an existing CMake project, you can click Open a Local Folder instead and continue following along once I've got my new project created. I'm then going to search for CMake in the search bar and select CMake Project as my project choice. You can fill out the project name, solution name, and location to be what's best for your purposes. I'll be creating a calculator app, so I'll name this calculator and I'm going to save this in my Q drive. Now we have our CMake project open. CMake is a cross-platform build system, so creating a skeleton project in VS gives us a project that can build and run on Linux. We still need to install WSL though, so that we can have a Linux environment to host our build. When you have a CMake project open, you'll see CMake Overview Pages. I'm going to click Get Started with Linux Development in this page to begin. This page shows the steps and installations necessary to set up WSL. We already installed the Linux and Embedded Development with C++ workload, so we can see this is checked off. Now I'll click on the next step, Install WSL and Initialize your new Linux distribution. I'll click Yes to the pop-up. We're prompted now with the prerequisites to install WSL. These checks will ensure my computer meets all the hardware and software requirements and that I have the correct settings applied. All my prerequisites have been met, so I'm going to click Run Install. If you have any prerequisites that aren't checked off, you'll want to resolve those before you click Run Install. If you have any pending Windows updates or restarts, the install may ask you to reboot your machine. If that happens, as it did on mine, reboot your machine and restart the WSL install from Visual Studio. I'll restart my machine and be right back. So we're back in Visual Studio and have reopened the WSL installation dialog. When the installation completes successfully, you'll see each step is checked off and we can click Finish. This has automatically connected WSL to VS, so no further configuration is necessary to build our project on Linux. You can see my project configuration is now changed to WSL Ubuntu and Linux Debug. I'm going to select my startup project to be calculator and then click F5 and my project will build and run. You'll see a terminal pop up and output Hello CMake. Our project is now building and running on Linux. We can also debug our project in Visual Studio. Whenever you're targeting Linux, Visual Studio will use GDB on the back end, so we can still use VS's familiar tools for Linux projects. Let's set a breakpoint and click F5 again. We can see the breakpoint was hit. We now have our project fully set up for Linux development. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments how your experience was using Visual Studio's WSL acquisition feature. Be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the Linux features within Visual Studio. Happy Linux coding!